Please support my caffeine addiction. Link in the description. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. This is Fetus. I wanted to try something new, fresh. So this is that, I guess. I've been writing down some facts about Oyasumi Pumpin whenever I come across them. So I'm going to go over some of them in this video. Also, if you're an avid Oyasumi Pumpin fan, if you have read the Inyo Asano interviews, if you go through discussion forums, if you scroll the subreddit on a regular basis, you probably know most of these already. Or even if you watch my Pumpin videos, you've heard of some of these for sure. But this video is more so for those who maybe just finished Pumpin and a lot of this stuff just went over their heads because I know a lot of it did for me after my first read through, so all right, here we go. The horns Pun Pun grows near the end of the manga are actually bull horns. My first time reading through it, I totally thought they were like Satan horns, devil horns, Berkele or whatever. But no, it turns out they're bull horns, and I'm gonna explain to you why while simultaneously telling you the next fact. So in the first chapter of Oyasumi Pun Pun, Pun Pun and his dad are looking at three stars called Orihime, Hikoboshi and Deneb, which form a star compilation, constellation, I, I don't know what the fuck it's called, called the Summer Triangle. All of these three stars represent characters. Orihime is Aiko, Hikoboshi is Pun Pun, and Deneb is Sachi. An alternative name for the Hikoboshi star is the Cowherd star, which is Pun Pun star, which is why he grows bull horns uh, once he goes boss to the walls, I guess. And that's the second fact. Inyo Asano was foreshadowing the love triangle between Aiko, Pun Pun and Sachi in the very first chapter of the manga. I think that's pretty neat. This is one that's probably pretty obvious, but that somehow just went over my head in my first read through. The last time we see Aiko, it's in Pun Pun's dream. And uh, in that dream, Aiko is completely unharmed. She has none of the injuries that she had beforehand. I don't know if you can count that as a fact. Like, that's very obvious if you just look at it. But I completely missed that when I first read through it. So, yeah, there you go. Alternate ending. Yeah, so Inyo Sano had an alternate ending planned for Yasumi Pun Pun where such as baby falls off a train station platform and Pun Pun goes down to save the baby but ends up dying. Uh, I think I, I'm loosely quoting Inyo Asano from an interview, but I think he said something among the lines of He didn't want to go with that ending because living is more painful than dying <laughs> yeah, That's a yikes, but I mean I not surprised Inyo said that. Okay, I mentioned this one in my video about God, but God's design is based off of a close friend of Inyo Asano, uh, referred to with the alias Kumatsuto. I'd, I have no clue what his real name is. I'm not 100% sure about the factuality of this fun fact. Uh, but uh, yeah, a few sources claim that Kumatsuto is the person who God's design is based off of, and Kumatsuto appears in the credits of Oyasumi Pun Pun, so... It makes sense. The manga that Sachi debuted with is called Solanin, which is actually Inio Asano's first big hit manga that ended up getting a live action adaptation and everything. And Pun Pun's design first appears in Solanin very briefly. Here's a fact that some people really don't like. And again, it's fairly obvious when you just look at the manga, but I had no idea when I first read through it. Inio Asano used tracing for some of the environmental art in Oyasumi Pun Pun. He literally had a picture and he just traced over that. I want to make a video completely dedicated to the art of Oyasumi Pun Pun eventually, so I'll talk more about that in that video. I'll give you more of my opinion. Some people think it's whack as fuck that Inio used tracing. Spoilers, I think it's really cool. The story of Aiko and Pun Pun is an homage to romantic comedies, or at least the beginning of their story uh, with the cliche trope of the protagonist falling in love with a... What the fuck is it called? A... The transfer student. Inio Asano actually stated in an interview that he himself once fell in love with a transfer student. I think that's kind of fun. And this one you definitely know if you've seen my Pegasus video. Pegasus is an homage to shonen manga. I'm not gonna go more in depth about that because I have an entire video... Because I have an entire video dedicated to that. So you can just check that out if you're interested. And finally, Oyasumi Pun Pun was originally supposed to be just 7 volumes long and then ended up stretching to 13 volumes. Well, the English release is technically seven volumes, but they're double volumes, whatever. But yeah, again, I'm quoting very loosely. This is something among the lines that Inyo Sano once said. That he originally planned to keep the manga at seven volumes, but these characters just kept popping up, such as Seki and Shimizu, Yuichi, Pegasus, that just started taking up lives of their own, and he wanted to concentrate on those characters. And like when he 
For an example, first introduced Yuichi, he had no idea he'd dedicate an entire volume to his past and just stuff like that. And I'm honestly really happy that's how it ended up turning out. Because especially the story of Seki and Shimizu I've stated in the past is one of my favorite aspects of Oyasumi Punpun. I've said that the story of Seki and Shimizu will most likely stick with me more so even than the story of say Aiko and Punpun or just Punpun alone because that entire dynamic and that friendship as fucked up as it is it's, it's just so fucking good and I don't think Punpun would be the manga it is if it was half the length well that's pretty obvious but yeah let me not ramble on for any longer that does it for the video uh consider supporting me on patreon it helps out with the channel i'll give you a shout out at the end of my videos it's only one euro i think that's like a dollar and 50 cents uh shout out to gillian sneeve for becoming a patreon also don't forget to like comment subscribe am i doing way too much promo yeah follow me on twitter and that about does it <laughs> have a great one peace